Bill Kishan leading the men, and they're off. For the men's open, kindly sponsored by Nabiana Life Sciences, running to the first. And Amanda Lowe and Will Easterby have gone off in the front. Ahead of Kilkishan, Monbeg Chitchat, game as a pheasant between the two, and the Mags boys are dropped out in the last pair. Bo Sarsi, Red Cap on the inside of Stop the World. Around the first left hander, Demanda Lowe, tracked by Kilkishan, Monbeg Chitchat, soon alongside his market rival. Game as a pheasant under restraint in four. And then follows Bo Sarsi on the inside. Of Stop the World. We jump the second fence up sides. On the turn towards the home straight, they man their load with a couple of lengths in hand over Mombe Chit Chat and Kill Kishin. They dispute second. Game of the Pheasants just off them with both Sansi and Stop the World. Over the first of the home straight. We'll jump that fluently. Demand a load from Mombeg Chit Chat, Kill Kitchen, Game of the Pheasant. Bo Sarsi moving a little closer, and the white face stopped the world until held up in the rear. Closing in on text number four, tightly grouped. Behind Demand a load, the leader from Mombeg Chit Chat and Kill Kitchen, who touched down just in second. <laughs> Right behind them are the Mags boys. Stop the world around the outside of Bo Sarsi and John Dawson has steadied game of the fence. The rear of the field. They line them up to fence number five. In front of the crowds, Demand a load, Mombeg Chit Chat. Stop the world improving on the outside of Kill Kitchen. Jumps into second on the outside. Brother Charlie just shakes the reins at Bo Sarsi who is in the last pair with games of pheasants. Running down to fence number six now, Demand a load from Monbeg Chit Chat, the wide racing Stop the World, will jump in third. And then games of pheasant at both sides, seeing Kill Kishan, who's very much hit a flat spot, has dropped to the rear, and something seems amiss. He's losing ground quickly on the other runners, under Dale Peters, who's pushing away and getting no response. Over the ditch, number seven, Demand a load, Monbeg Chit Chat. We've lost Bo Sansi there, who's come down. Course is quickly up, Kilkishan's being left well behind. Just waiting to see the jockey, he's on his feet as well. Charlie Max, they've covered a circuit, coming to the eighth, Demand a load from Monbeg Chit Chat. Stop the world on the outside. And then the game is a present, and Dale Peters has pulled up Kilkishan after a circuit before fence number eight the market leader is out of the race so just four of them who are covered by a little more than three lengths on the approach to the ninth the mandalo tracked by monbeck chit chat a length away stop the world a further length back then as the pheasant jumps at last to the quartet they prepare the swing left-handed is following the poor leader's riderless and Kim Kishan coming back after pulling up at the eight. The leaders closing in on fence number 10. The man below, Monte Chit Chat, stop the world on the outside, little between the three of them. Monte Chit Chat upside the man below, going to the pheasant observing from the rear. They work their way up the home straight. So running on to fence number 11, Monday Chit Chat, Christy Burnett, Willie to be and Demand the Load. And then on the outside, he stopped the world and finally game of the present. Monday Chit Chat's gone free clear, jumping number 11 with a circuit to cover. From Demand the Load and Stop the World, and finally game of the present. Turning into the top straight, on their way to the 12th fence. Monbeg Chit Chat from Demand Stop the World, sharing second. 
will jump fence number 12 with an outright second now. Game is a pheasant last of the quartet. The riderless horse still pursuing the field. And he's going to play a part here as he's almost taken Monbeg Chit Chat out on the bend. It's the riderless Beausancy. Christy Finesse seemed to be aware of it at the last minute and managed to avoid catastrophe, but Mombe Chit Chat's advantage has been eroded. Demand de Lobes dropped to the rear after jumping the 13th, and Game as a Pheasant has gone off in pursuit. Stop the World is still in touch. Demand de Lobe is weakening rapidly. At the final open ditch, fence number 14, Mombe Chit Chat back on an even keel from Game as a Pheasant, who made a mistake at the ditch, now two lengths behind. Stop the World is three lengths back and Will Easterby's pulled up Demand de Lowe. And then there were three, they were into the fourth last. Monday Chit Chat from Game as a Pheasant, two stalwarts of the Yorkshire point point scene. Stop the World is struggling now. Legal touch with the other two. And William Max as they turn left and approach the third last. Monday Chit Chat. By nearly two lengths from a very race fit game to seven, seven or eight lengths to stop the world. Going over three outs, Monbeck Chit Chat from game to pheasants, back to a length and a half the gap. Six lengths to stop the world, who's not losing any more ground on the two in front of him. But he's flat to the board, turning in with two to jump in the men's open, Monbeck Chit Chat. Just over a length up on game of the pheasant. Stop the world, not yet making any impression in third. Monday Chit Chat at the second last. Made a mistake, but fiddled his way out of trouble. It's a shake of the reins, though. Game of the pheasant's been ridden hard on the inside, on the outside in second. Stop the world, still making no impression back in third. So between the last two fences, it's Monday Chit Chat on the inside with... A length, length and a half advantage over Game of the Pheasants as they reach the final fence. Monday Chit Chat over in front. Game of the Pheasants landed one and no and was turned and made on the way. Stop the ground is held in third. Monday Chit Chat on the inside of Game of the Pheasants. This is going to be another tight finish for the judge between Monday Chit Chat and Game of the Pheasants. Can't split but that is very close. That is third. Just stop the world.